become a Jedi master of active listening. Some of these whoever wrote this is an asshole. <laughs> so, wait, so, what was that again? Become a Jedi master of active, active listening. So like, man, you know, when you're talking to somebody, there's nothing worse when you're talking to somebody and they're not listening to you. They are like thinking of whatever they want to get from you or the next thing that they want to talk about. Like you're just filling space until they shut their brain down. You know what I mean? I am <laughs> trying not to give examples. Yeah. I mean, that that's a, that's a sure way to, for the person on the other end of that. Just to be like, I screw this dude. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like a instant lack of respect for that person. Yep. Like you, it's just, I'm not gonna, you know what cures get that? Out of this conversation and fuck off. Right. <laughs> You know, it can cure that. Mm. Yes. Oh, podcast? Podcast. <laughs> oh, for sure. You have to listen. Like, and not just yeah, being on, you know, idiot. being on one side of the podcast where you're being interviewed. Yeah. But actually. Oh, doing the interview. Doing the interview. Oh, it's so hard. Oh. Yeah. Hey, everybody out there. <laughs> what? This is not Deadpool. Oh, sorry. I break the fourth wall. I'm breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, <laughs> the, yeah, it's do, hard. Mm -hmm. it's it's not just that it's hard it's it's and i and i find like when i took like three or four months off from podcasting um from interviewing people mm -hmm. and getting back into it was yeah, interview, fucking interviews hard. Are hard yeah and because you have to listen yeah. you have to listen otherwise you know and and you can't the the things that we do here like we can riff off a lot of things because it's based on i've known you, know, you for like, a decade well, i mean we can totally do that true um, yeah, it's different. But but when you're when you're interviewing somebody that's like you know a developer nerd that yeah. I have no idea. I don't like, know what you're talking about. What are you talking about? I'm like, I have no idea. I'm like, dude, I'm the marketing guy. You're like trying to look shit up yeah. while they're talking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, dear AI, <laughs> please tell me. But explain the, to me the, AI. The flip side of this, though, earning respect or making making people respect you is, I mean, just listening to listen. I mean, listen to them and and and, be, and actively listen in it like that. That's a skill, but also like, yeah, they're gonna love you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I try to. Um, I mean, you know, not not in every one that I come across because you know anybody that you're. Wow, I was gonna sound like a dick there. I won't say that, but but generally speaking, I try to like leave a conversation, and I want that person when I've left that conversation, I want that person to think he listened. And he, he paid attention to what I was saying. Yeah. And it made me feel good. Like that's, I, I generally want to leave people with that feeling whenever I interact with them, mm -hmm. you know, and it's hard to do. Yeah. Cause sometimes you're like, Hey, you know, whatever and you start talking, you're like, Oh God, you know, like, <laughs> like I have so much shit to do, Yeah, you know, and you're still talking, mm -hmm. you know, but, but I want to like, I want to leave you with that feeling. Yeah. And it takes effort. <laughs> it does. <laughs> It does. And, and that active listening part, because you need to be able to respond intelligently and empathically yeah. in order for them to leave thinking that you actually listen to them. And it, yeah. And it sounds, this is going to sound very manipulative, but it's because I may want something out of that person. Mm -hmm. I mean, that doesn't mean I'm like going to hit you up for 50 bucks later, but I mean, I may want you to like hold the door, pay attention to me, you know, like, Help me figure out the copy or whatever. I mean, I may have an interaction with you at some point mm -hmm. and I need you to like not ignore me yep. or not think I'm a dick. So you don't help me. You know what I mean? Like whatever that is. So I want to leave you with that good feeling because I want to build my, you know, it, again, it sounds manipulative, but I want to build my brand with the humanity. Yep. You know what I mean? I want to yeah. be, I want to be a decent human that, that kind of has, gets respect from people. And right. I think just listening to them is one thing you need to do, yeah. but with your, like you're talking about with the homeless person example like think about like audit your day like did you just blow past somebody at some point you know probably i probably did mm -hmm. you know <laughs> i mean i think about it i mean i don't know i don't interact i try not to interact with a bunch of people every day but yeah you know and it is in the gym as well when i'm coaching i try to like at some like it's a it's a 40 minute workout or whatever you know in that class mm -hmm. i try to at least at every point at some point during that time, have some sort of, I'm going to say meaningful, it doesn't mean like life-changing, but meaningful interaction where I've connected with someone in that class mm -hmm. to let them know that I know they're here 
and I, you know, I want them to have a good day. Yeah. Like, like I got to make that. That's one of my things, you know, mm -hmm. and, and I think that pays off in the long run. Yeah. Those are, you know, I think, and think back to elementary, middle, high school, like those are the teachers that listen to you. Yeah. Your favorite teachers. Went, yeah. yeah. Are the ones that actually listened and, yeah, and they like, remembered something about you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But you don't want to be that guy. Like I got this one guy that I know, I would call him a friend, but I don't know if he really is or not. Like when I was in, like go, just going to college, I was like an Aerosmith fan. Mm -hmm. And that's when he met me. Mm -hmm. So I can see him now, like 20 years later, and he'd be like, mm, Steven Tyler, huh? Mm -hmm. Aerosmith? And you're like, bro, like you're doing that thing where you're like remembering this one and you're trying to like, I can see you doing the thing. And that bugs me. <laughs> remember, can't hardly wait. Remember the time when you. <laughs> so it's, it's, I think it's a subtle thing. Yeah. To do something like that. Um, and you don't want to be the person that's like, so Aaron, how's your day? You having a good day, Aaron? Aaron, you know, I was thinking, Aaron, about doing a podcast with me and you, Aaron. You ever talk to somebody like that? I know that guy. I'm, and I, it's I, like, hold on. You know that guy too. <laughs> Just say But it's like, I know what you're doing, bro. I know what you're doing. Stop it. That's a that's another that's a way to lose respect immediately, or to at least categorize yourself as a salesman, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, whether that's what you want or not. But that's another way to yes. <laughs> to abuse the Jedi X person's name six times in conversation. Yeah. You